guys! Ew. Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby. So today's video is going to be another iPhone video. You guys like really like my iPhone videos. One of them has like 14,000 views, which... I was not expecting that at all, but um, I filmed this video in January and nothing about my phone is the same, so I thought I would do another updated iPhone video. Shut up, stupid cars. Oh my god. So annoying. Um, also, I don't know how I like this hairstyle, so if it's ugly, don't judge. Um, I'm getting four-year-old vibes from it. Okay, so my lock screen is actually a picture that I made myself on Pinterest. The pictures are from Pinterest, and then I made a collage on Fonto. I'll show you those apps later. They're on my phone, but anyways, I just made a little collage of that and made it my lock screen because, I don't know, I just like the vibe of it. I love the colors and stuff. Then when you open my phone, we have Safari, Mail, Calendar, Photos, Weather, Clock, Maps, Wallet, Health, Reminders, Notes, App Store. What did I say it like that? App Store? App Store. Settings and Calculator. I don't really use any of these. I only use like reminders. Actually, I don't even have any reminders, so I don't really use reminders. I have a couple of notes, but not really. The rest I really just don't use. Also down below, we have my camera, which it's a good camera. Portrait mode, you know, that's not cute, but anyways. Then we have phone, text messages, and FaceTime, which I never use. I don't like FaceTiming that much, so I don't really use it. Now getting into the actual interesting stuff. I color coordinated the top row, so it's all red. I made folders for my apps because I just don't like having all of the apps out. I like having it all on one screen. The top two rows are the apps that I use the most, so, so I don't have them in folders. Hopefully that made sense, but anyways. We have YouTube, which you should subscribe to. This channel. I have lots of videos. Ew, my older videos. Ew. <laughs> my first video was not it. You should go watch it to laugh at me. Then we have YouTube Studio, which if you don't know what it is, it's basically so I can check my anal analytics. Analytics? Analytics, it's analytics. Just check how many subscribers I got in the last 28 days. See how, vid how good your videos are doing. You can upload your thumbnail to there. It's super good if you have like a channel. Then we have Fonto. This is the app that I use to t make text over pictures. I make thumbnails. You can just pick colors and stuff. Then you can type. You can literally just type on it and then you can pick the color, stroke, like the outline. You can also upload pictures to it, which is what I do for my thumbnails. It's super good. I highly recommend it. It's free also. Then we have Pinterest, which I love Pinterest lately, especially in the summer. Um, you should follow my Pinterest. It's AbbyArm11, and I just save like a whole bunch of stuff on there. I have lots of boards on there that you can check out. I even have a board called myself if you want my lock screen or anything. I also made this one as well, so you can get it off there if you want it. I really like my collages, so I just post them to Pinterest sometimes. Post them there a lot. I pin a lot of new things, so you should check it out and follow me if you want. I'm following. Next up, we have Snapchat. I like Snapchat. It's not my favorite app, but um, it's fun. It's cool. Why did that change my... What the? I wanted to go to that one, but it went to this. I like Snapchat, but it's not my favorite. But I do use it every day because I send my streaks, so... Next up, we have Spotify. I love Spotify. I listen to music all the time. I have so many playlists on there. I have like Summer 2020, It's Different, The Vibes, The Faves, Throwback, Summer 2019, One Direction, High School Musical. Dang, I have not listened to the High School Musical one or the One Direction one in a little bit, but anyway. I love Spotify so much. I've been really getting into music lately. Then we have TikTok. I spend too many hours on there. You should follow it because I literally have 58 followers. That's depressing, you know, but like, I post videos, like a lot. I post like three times a week, I'm guessing. I don't even know. I post whenever I feel like it. Then we have Instagram. I used to think Instagram was like really boring and I never post, I didn't post for like half a year on there. But I've been really getting, I've been trying to get into it a little bit more. I've been trying to post this summer more. I just posted like five days ago. Post on the 4th of July, I posted, I'm just trying to post a lot more. So you should follow me. It's Abby Armstrong 24. I feel like I'm just promoting myself and it's really annoying, but if you want to follow it, it is a private account, but if you like comment down below, I'll accept it. 
I don't know. I don't even know why it's private, but like, I mean, I don't even know. Now I'm moving on to the folders. The folders is where I keep like things that I don't use as often. So the first folder we have is movies, which is Netflix and Disney Plus. I usually put Netflix on like on my iPad. I don't really use it on my phone at all. And then Disney Plus. It's Disney Plus. That's literally it. Then we have editing. This is for like pictures, thumbnails, video. We have snow, which I really don't use that much. You can like. I don't know. It's kind of like Facetune, but I don't use it at all, like on my face or anything. I use it for like the filters or something. You can like change your face, and it's so weird. It's so weird. Then next up, we have prequel. I used to be obsessed with this like two months ago, but just edit your pictures and stuff. Let me show you. You can put like effects on it, disco. They have different effects, filters, all that. Next up, we have Visco. I hardly ever use Visco. I just spam sometimes. It's Abby Armstrong 24 if you want to go check it out. I don't really post that much on it. <laughs> Next up we have PixArt, which is probably one of my favorite editing apps ever to exist. It's free and you get so much. Like I made a new channel banner. I made this. I had like the stickers and the butterflies and everything and the effects and stuff. And it's... The cars are so loud. Oh my god. Next up we have iMovie, which I use to edit every single one of my YouTube videos. And I also edit everything on my phone because I don't have a computer to do that. Then we have Filmo, which I don't know what this is, actually. What even is this? Oh, I think it's to get, like, the film effect. That's what it is. To get, like, the vintage film filter on it, if you know what I mean. Next up, we have GoPro. I just use it to get my pictures or videos off from my GoPro to my phone. Then we have Vaunt, which I use in my videos a lot. It's like Fonto, but for videos basically if you want to add text to videos that's basically how i do it like to get the font i want because iMovie is not good for that so i'd basically just say text and then you can like change the size of it the stroke and all that change it to how long you want it for it's a really good app for videos which i really recommend and i don't even know if i'm recording anymore okay i am then we have the app tezza which I love this app, honestly. I downloaded it like a month ago or something. I'm obsessed with it. If you don't know what it is, it's, you know, like those wall collages that are really popular. It's by, the app is by the girl who makes those collages. I really, really recommend it. My favorite filter is the vintage one. Let me show you a picture of what the vintage filter looks like before and after. So this is the picture before. And that is after, and then you can also change the, like, amount you want so it's not, like, super bright. But it literally is so good. I love this app so much. I even follow her on Instagram, and she, like, she, like, reposted something that I posted, like, eh. Tessa shared her response to their question sticker. I'm practically famous now, like... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have games, which is Roblox, which I have not played in forever. And then Subway Surf. I I thought it was called Subway Surfers. Oh it is. Okay, I'm stupid. Then we have school. I've not used this in months, but we just I'm gonna go through it real quick because it's summer. I don't wanna talk about this. Quizlet, remind, zoom, docs, sheets, meet, well, Google Meet, Google Classroom. Google Drive, Google Slides, and Gmail for my school email. Then we have the folder extra, it has literally just extra stuff in it. Starbucks, which I love Starbucks. I got so many new gift cards for my birthday. Bitmoji for like Snapchat and stuff. And my iPhone, New York DMV because I'm gonna get my permit soon, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully I pass. I've been studying, I studied like last night. I've been trying to study a little bit more because it's coming up. Sleep fan is just a fan app. We have activity for my Apple Watch. I took 1,288 steps today. Then we have the Apple Watch app, which is basically settings before your watch. Then we have contacts, which is contacts. Then we have the Amazon app, files, Twitter, which I never use Twitter. Like I don't even know what my username is. I never, then YOLO for Snapchat. And then the DMV. Then we have health for our last folder of Clue, which is, um, I don't know if I want to say this, but it's like a 
period tracker. Okay, that's weird. What if like, people in my grade are watching this? Okay, um, then we have car care, which if you didn't know, I have like stomach problems. I don't know what's wrong with me, but every time I eat, my stomach literally like goes like this. <laughs> So that's basically just a track like whenever I have like really bad stomach aches. I don't use it that much. I really should be putting in more stuff, but I haven't. So that's great. That's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for what's on my iPhone updated 20. Oh, I didn't talk about the case. Um, we just have this silicone Apple case in pink sand. But then I have the iPhone 11 in white. That's it for today's video. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below because I respond to every single comment. Subscribe if you want. And yeah, <coughs> bye!